Alright guys, I want to do a quick little review on something that I've been waiting for for a little while. Now, I'm doing, as the title says, an honest review. And I'm not going to wax poetic about a truck that I know absolutely nothing about. All I know is, I thought it was pretty darn cool. And I really do like this air of truck, but to be honest... I would much prefer it had they done a second gen Dodge Ram 1500. Now, this is the 1982 Dodge Ram D150 Prospector. Prospector is a nameplate almost like uh, M series for BMW, AMG. Uh, you know, it's, it's a trim package basically, which got you a little bit of extras. I believe it was probably the long bed, but. I don't know anybody who had this truck. I know my community college actually had a Ram Charger as a snowplow truck, which here on the East Coast, that thing probably was eaten up by rust. But I'm going to give you an honest review of this truck. I'm gonna crack it out of this package, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and this one just easily cut open. Now, I, you know, growing up in the south, technically Delaware is a southern state, we're a border, border state, well, Delaware is a border state, I now live in Maryland, which is technically the, the northest part of the south, but anyway, uh, so I always considered myself kind of southern anyway, after going through a whole bunch of life experiences and you know all that yada yada I'll talk later about that if you want me to but anyway um, I live in a land of pickup trucks actually where I was living when I was living in the trailer park if you guys remember that veterans of the channel will remember that uh, almost everybody had a truck and where I live now everybody has a truck so if not a truck it's a van but anyway on to the honest review of this truck. I know Greenlight has had some quality control issues with bendy beds and beds not lining up to the cabs of their vehicles, to the cabs of their truck. This one is pretty good. Um, and what I like about this truck, for a lot of you diesel guys, you'll know, but this was the first generation diesel truck for Dodge uh, Dodge's um, civilian offering. You know, this kind of is what started their partnership with Cummins. But, nice truck. I like the two-tone. It's a, more of a white, more of a silver. I'll actually take you guys to where it's a little bit lighter. But yeah, more of a silver and brown uh, Dodge Ram. Um, you got the classic Dodge Ram on the tailgate details and what I like about this is details are actually painted in instead of lenses now probably asking me why for a premium truck for a premium model would I like painted details over a lens I'm also a bit of a customizer as you guys can tell and Sorry, that's my clock going off. And as a customizer, what's nice is I can just pop the uh, windshield and all the glass out of this truck, take the wheels off, and redo it. Say I want to paint it in a different paint style. Now, it won't be as detailed. I won't be able to replicate the Ram, uh, the Ram Tampos. And what's that say back there? The Prospector Tampos. But what I also like, and unfortunately it goes against the trend, with a lot of collector cars. What I like is Greenlight didn't play it safe here. They actually did a long bed Dodge Ram truck where the trend of truck now, especially with the OBS market is, you know, short bed, short box. Cause now all you see, I mean, I even went to go order a pickup truck, a real one. And the only options were like an eight foot bed in a dually with a double cab, which I don't need to be hauling that many people. I just really want to haul stuff. But anyway, I guess it's gotten to the point where 
trailering technology is more the focus, but eh. But anyway, honest review is that I like this truck. It's a good truck. Green light has no quality issue here on this one. Tampos are nice and straight. Cabin bed is nice and straight on both sides. No bend. And this is actually the money side. This is the side you see. Um, packaging is really cool. I didn't read it yet, but I'm going to sit here and read it as I upload this honest review. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoy. Also, have fun with your trucks. Collect. And you guys will probably be seeing at least one custom of this truck because I ended up getting three somehow. Don't know how, but I got three of them. So, anyway... I'll catch you guys on the next one. I just want to butt in real quick right here. You're going to see the prospector has a scratch through it. That is from the blade of my knife when taking it out of the package. This is the clean shot. I wanted to capture the detail they went through to show you the sliding window which is disappearing really fast on a lot of these modern pickups.